Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Who is in charge of the executive branch of government? The executive branch of the U.S. government is a complex entity with various components, each playing a crucial role in its functioning. At its core, this branch is responsible for enforcing the laws created by the legislative branch, which is Congress. The President's Role The executive branch is headed by the President of the United States. The President is the chief representative of the nation and serves as the head of state and the leader of the federal government. This position is established by Article 2, Section 1 of the Constitution, which states that the executive power shall be vested in a President of the United States of America. Constitutional Powers The President has extensive powers, including serving as the Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Navy, as outlined in Article 2, Section 2 of the Constitution. This gives the President significant military authority, the President also has the power to negotiate and sign treaties, although these must be ratified by a two-thirds vote of the Senate. Executive Office of the President To support the President, the Executive Office of the President, EOP, was created in 1939 by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. The EOP includes the President's immediate staff, such as the White House Chief of Staff, the Press Secretary's Office, and the National Security Council. These offices handle high-priority issues, including the federal budget and national security. The Vice President The Vice President of the United States is also a key figure in the executive branch. The Vice President assumes the presidency if the President is unable to perform their duties due to death, resignation, or incapacitation. The Vice President also serves as the President of the Senate. Cabinet and Departments the President is advised by the Cabinet, which consists of the Vice President and the heads of 15 executive departments. These department heads are nominated by the President and confirmed by the Senate. They not only advise the President, but also carry out the day-to-day -day enforcement and administration of federal laws. Independent Agencies In addition to the Cabinet, the executive branch includes various independent agencies and boards, commissions, and committees. These agencies support specialized work within the executive branch and help carry out the President's constitutional and statutory responsibilities. Enforcement and Administration The executive branch, through its various components, is responsible for enforcing the laws of the land. This includes the administration of federal laws by the cabinet departments and independent agencies, such as the Department of Health and Human Services, the Department of Defense, and the Environmental Protection Agency. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.